What's up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and today is another week of Tester Tuesday, which is a spot where I review two Scentsy scents with you based on my thoughts, my impressions, but in the hopes that might help you decide if a scent's going to work for you or not. And I also use these videos as a resource to go back and review what I thought about a scent. So last week, we had a lot of votes, 344. We did have a first and second place, but all the scents got lots of votes. So thank you so much. Let's get into it. So let's talk about our first place scent for the week. It is Inner Peace. This has the light blue front, but the wax is white. It had 31% of the vote. On Cold Sniff, I would say it was about a medium intensity, and I would put this in the fresh category, but it could also go into citrus. It could also go into woods. And this is a Bring Back My Bar limited time offer scent, so available till the end of June unless you put it in your Scentsy Club. So let's read the scent description. Scentsy says, earthy wood notes with the unmistakable scent of lemon groves and rejuvenating cypress. So let's talk about the lemon first. Lemon can be a cleaner lemon. I do get a cleaner style lemon here. And I also get almost like little greenery residue like the parts of the tree with the scent. It also kind of smells like citronella so kind of picture all that together. It also talks about earthy wood notes and rejuvenating cypress. So cypress is, I looked it up, it's kind of like a tree, like a shrub. Yes, I, I get woodsiness but it comes after. So when I first smelled this on cold snip it was like a very fresh scent. I was like oh it's fresh and I didn't really know how to describe it and I didn't really know if I liked it or not. I'm just gonna say this not a Patricia kind of scent. I just don't care for this scent, but I'm going to give you my thoughts and impressions on it. So it really smells to me. Imagine you were at like a brand new, something like a yoga studio or a spa. I'm going to say yoga studio and imagine that like the mats and everything was kind of clean with this bright, fresh, lemony, citronelle y cleaner. <laughs> but because everything's so new, you kind of still smell wood like natural wood. But in the background, it smells a little dusty because they're still cleaning up. <laughs> you know, they just open and they're still kind of cleaning up and there's like dustiness because I don't know, the woodsiness came across a little bit like dust to me. So in my brain, I was thinking clean dust. They don't go together. <laughs> so I, I think that's why I struggle with this. But I'm really glad I got to warm it because I always like to try new things. So let's talk about performance. So I took two cubes and put it in Ryan's room. Now I did switch from the Spider-Man warmer to the, what's it called? I'll, I'll put the name below. The scent of the month or the warmer of the month with all the stars. I forget what it was called, but I, I, I switched to that. Strength and Thrall was about six and a half out of 10. A little bit lighter than I was expecting on Cold Sniff. I left it going two days, not quite, 25 hours. I just, I just didn't get the greatest performance. And I'm thinking to myself, usually if you don't really like a scent, it's really, really strong. But this, this was definitely not a strong, it was like a medium light for me. So day two, I would say three out of 10. Okay. So then I decided to take three cubes and warm it in my TV room, which I call the bonus room. Strength and throw was about five to six on the, on day one. I left it going two days. On day two, I have a note here. It kind of smelled like pe pencil shavings. So I'm getting that wood, that weird wood. <laughs> so basically the lemon part comes first and then you kind of smell the dusty wood to me. Now I thought to myself, maybe I'm just, maybe it's the temperature of the house. So I tried it again in my kid's bathroom. They have too many warmers, smallest area of the house, but too many warmers that are good performing mini warmers. I just didn't get a lot out of it. Five out of 10, I left it going like a day and a half, but. It just wasn't a good performer for me. I'm not sure why. And if I really liked the scent, I would definitely repurchase and try, but I'm not gonna be repurchasing this one. It's probably one of my least favorite bring back my bars of this round. But I think if you're someone that likes lemon verbena and you can imagine like a slight woodsy, like natural wood dusty tone, then you might like inner peace. That's what I got from it. I would say bathrooms would be a good spot for this. Laundry room maybe spring and summer more so than fall winter scent appeal was low for me performance was light for me just not a repurchase hopefully you'll get better results and you like it but just not one for me that's inner peace so let's talk about our second place scent for the week it is french toast 
This is a full bar. And the color of the wax is kind of like a golden beige colored wax. 27% of the vote. Medium to medium plus on cold sniff. It's a limited time bring back my bar scent. And I will put this in the bakery section. And I did warm a full bar. So let's read the scent description. Sensi says, a perfect light slice of bread dunked in golden egg batter, dusted with powdered sugar and finished with a swirl of sweet maple syrup. So if we went through all those notes, I get them all. I get the bread. I get that like a little bit eggy, sweet batter. I get the powdered sugar because I kind of compared it to something else and I'm like, it smells a little different. It almost smells like powdered sugar. And I get like a gentle maple tone. What they don't talk about is cinnamon. I find I get a lot of cinnamon from this. I like cinnamon, but I find as I'm warming scents, I'm not as crazy about cinnamon as I used to be. But this is pretty cinnamon dom dominant to me, and they don't mention that in the notes. So I just thought I'd express that. So similarly to when I make French toast, I do put cinnamon in the French toast. The first one or two slices when you dunk that bread, those two slices have a lot of cinnamon, and the rest... No, because the cinnamon kind of floats to the top of the batter. And that's exactly what's happening here. It's the first one or two slices of French toast that have a lot of cinnamon on them. This also reminds me of that scent, sticky cinnamon bun. If that, if you've smelled that one or warmed that one, there's a lot of cinnamon and barely any bun. Now here you get a little bit more bakery, of course, and you get a little bit of maple. But imagine you're making a big, um, what do you call it, cinnamon bun. And instead of putting just a regular vanilla glaze, you add a little maple syrup to the glaze. That's very similar, kind of all along the same line. So this is the first time I've warmed this. Cha-ching! <laughs> so I decided to put two cubes in Ryan's room. I'll talk about that second. And then I use the other six cubes in my open layout. This is more of an open layout scent to me. The reason is, is because my kitchen is part of the open layout. To me, this would be a, like a kitchen scent. And I would also say it's more fall and winter appropriate in my opinion. But anyway, six cubes in the open layout amongst four warmer strength and throw was about seven to seven and a half. It did fine. Uh, cinnamon dominant bakery scent. And I warmed it the first day, 13 hours. I tried again the second day. It was maybe like three out of 10 with a, a heavy cinnamon presence. So I, I didn't let it go too long on the second day. So it was probably a one long day type scent for me. And I put the other two cubes in Ryan's room. Okay, I must say... <laughs> Strength of throw is about seven and a half, maybe up to eight. Um, his room still smells like maple. So this is an example of if you warm it in one spot, you're gonna pick up different things. So in my open layout, I didn't get a ton of maple. I got a lot of cinnamon bakery. In Ryan's room, man, oh man, could I ever smell the maple? I don't know what it is. <laughs> that room smells like maple and it still smells like that. So I'm, I'm trying to get rid of it. But I left it going a couple days, 48 hours. If you're someone that likes this scent, vanilla cinnamon maple, I would definitely give French toast a try. They are different. This one has, I feel like the powdered sugar, I could pick up the powdered sugar and the maple was lighter in color in my brain. I think if you like one, you probably like the other. They're both okay for me. Uh, if you like that sticky cinnamon bun, but you also like maple scents, then definitely give French toast a try. I would say fall and winter, like I said, and the cinnamon note is prominent in my brain. So if, this, if cinnamon is not something that you enjoy, then I would probably skip this one. Will this one be a repurchase for me? No, just because I'm not a huge maple fan. <laughs> the way I said that, I was like, no, <laughs> but I'm just not a huge maple fan. And the fact that Ryan's room still smells like maple is a bit of a turnoff for me, but you can't win them all. So this week wasn't the greatest, but I'm always happy to try new things. All right, let's move to the portion of the video where I'm going to draw the scents and you guys are going to vote. Please pick two different scents by early Wednesday morning. Put your two votes down in the YouTube comment section. If you can't vote on YouTube, please find my Instagram post. It's Patricia Gates and put your two votes there. So scent number one is going to be upcoming scent of the month for July. It is called Desert Tropics. Scent number two, let's root around. Scent number two is going to be vanilla bean buttercream. A current set in the bakery. Oh, in this bag here. Scent number three is going to be lemon verbena. This is a retired citrus scent. Set number four is going to be citrus garden, a retired scent of the month. That's also a citrus scent. Set number five. 
Star Fruit and Pear Nectar. That's a retired fruity scent. And scent number six, let's pick a big one. Let's pick a big one. Here's a big one. Scent number six, purple, lilacs and violets, or lilacs, <laughs> I can never say that, and violets. But thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Don't forget to vote, and I will see you guys in the next video.